Hi, this is Dabson Ishmael. If you use WYSIWYG Web Builder version 17, there's a new extension which is free. That is the animated text cube extension. So what this extension does is it allows you to create a cube and then have different text at different sides of the cube. But a cube has about six sides where you can have different text at each side of the cube. So let's go ahead and then open with the Web Builder and see how best to go about this. So once you launch your Wizard Web Builder, the first thing you need to do is to install the extension. So you have to come to the extension manager and then you go ahead to um, click on all under online gallery. After it is downloaded, you go ahead to search for the cube extension and then you go ahead to install it. So when you are done installing this, let me just click on OK and close this. You come to your toolbox and search for cube. So that is the animated text cube. So I click on it and then I draw on my canvas. So it's time to go ahead to configure it. Now before I go ahead to double click on it, I will need some text. So I'm going to populate some text here, which I'm going to be using for my cube. So about six is fine. So each side has a different um, text here. So now I'll double click on this and um, you have the options to configure. The first thing is animation speed. So this is where you determine the speed of the cube once it's being animated. The cool thing about this is you can have links as well. So you can have links that is going to be linked to an external site or even a page within your project and then the other various links you have in Wizard Web Builder. Now you have, you can set the target as well as the link title. And then you have the perspective of the cube as well as, that is which way you'd want the cube to be showing, as well as you have the transition um, duration, how long you'd want the transition to take place. And then you have the easing um, type, that is the transition type that you'd want to have here. As well as when you come to style, so this is where you style the cube, you give it um, the fancy look, the colors, the type of um, font you'd want to use, the font size, the font weight, and so on. Then you come to the content itself. So just as I was saying, it has about six um, sides. So you have to put um, six different um, type of text at each side. So let me just um, click on OK and start with this. So let me just cut this off and come back to my cube. So this one says front title. So front is basically what is going to be facing you. So it says front title. I'm going to leave the title on front side. And then when I click on, um, that is the button here under front description, it is going to allow me to paste text there. So I'm going to keep, um, take off what was there and then paste my text there. And then I'm going to increase the size to, um, let's say 14, and then make the color different. So I'm going to make all of them different colors. Let me just change the font to uh, maybe Lato. Now, you notice that I also have some tools here to use in this particular uh, pop-up window. So I can create links here as well. I can um, select or highlight text and then make it bold. So let me just do that. I can um, highlight the text and make it italic. I can also underline some text here. And of course, I can create links as well. So in case I'd want to create um, a link, I just highlight on the text I would want to link and then click on this and then specify the link details. So this is for my first um, site. I'll click on OK and then click on OK, come to my text, get another um, text for a different side. So I'm going to go ahead to highlight this text and then cut it. I'll come back to my cube, go to the next part, which is the back title. So I'll click on this, highlight on the text there and then paste my text. 
I'll highlight on all the text and then change the size to 14. And then change my font type to Arial. And then of course change the color to something different here. I'll come to my next text. Highlight and cut it. Double click on my cube. Come to the third part which says the top side that is here. So I'll highlight on what is there and paste my text. Highlight the text, change the font size as well as the color. And then the font type. So I'll go ahead and then click on OK. OK. Come to the font text here. Come back to my animated text cube and then I click on this I think I should rather click on this instead so highlight this paste this here highlight it change the size to 14 and then the color um, the type to plateau and then go ahead to change the color as well click on OK OK and then do for this so let me just do this real quick and then 14 and then lato i'll click on ok click on ok and then finally my last text which is going to come to the very um that is right title so let me just change that to 14 lato and then i can keep this on black so i'll click on ok now you notice that this animated text cube can also be responsive so in case you'd want to create a big point this is where you go ahead to create your big point but for this tutorial i'm going to leave this as it is and then go ahead and then click on ok now it's time for me to preview this in the browser and take a look at how it is going to look so you notice that we have our animated text cube we have the various text that we put in there, um, the colors, the size, the, the font type, yes. And if we hover over it, you notice that this animated text cube splits into um, like an open box or, or an open cube. So yes, you can make this entire um, extension or feature a link. That is what we saw earlier. Of course, also you can add various links to the various parts of the text that you have in here so if i wanted to make um, any text here a link i can go ahead to do that if i'd want to slow the animation or the speed of this i can also do that so that once i hover over it i have some time to read or see what is there to be able to click it so this is a free extension that exists in with real computer version 17. you can go ahead and play with it and see what you'll be able to make out of it so that is basically just about it thank you very much for watching bye for now